there are several popular financial incentives for commercial solar. If you've come to learn more about these coveted solar tax credits, stay tuned because today we will cover how all of this works and how you can take advantage. Welcome back. I'm Leah on behalf of Solar Energy Partners. If you want to take advantage of the financial benefits of solar energy, you need to understand all of the available tax credits and incentives first. So let's dive right in. One of the biggest financial incentives for commercial solar in the U.S. is the 30% Federal Investment Tax Credit, or ITC for short. This is a dollar-for-dollar -dollar tax credit. What that means is it lowers your business's overall federal tax liability by the full amount of the tax credit. Next, you qualify for accelerated depreciation when investing in a solar system for your business. If you need a quick refresher, depreciation is just a term that represents the declining value of an asset over time. So a business expense, such as a company car, equipment, or in this case, solar panels can be written off on your taxes as an annual expense. Therefore, lowering your taxable basis or the profits that you're required to pay taxes on. So if a business owner like you buys something that lasts more than a year, such as solar panels, you're likely eligible for depreciation. But how does that all work? When you invest in a solar energy system for your business, you have the option to depreciate the system on your taxes, and you can do this in addition to claiming the 30% federal investment tax credit. Accelerated depreciation, or also known as the Modified Accelerated Cost Recovery System, MACRS for short, is a method of depreciation where the asset value itself is allowed to be reduced at a faster rate early on, so in other words, the depreciation is sped up or accelerated. This allows business owners like you to depreciate the costs of your solar investment from your taxes in as few as one year, instead of the 30 to 35 years that the system will be in operation. Here's an example of how all these tax credits work. Let's assume you start your project this year and say your commercial solar project costs $300,000 to build. Since the ITC is 30%, your tax liability is then reduced by $90,000, meaning the $300,000 project value now has a net cost of $210,000, assuming you have sufficient tax liability to be able to claim the ITC credits. Next, let's incorporate the accelerated depreciation. The IRS will allow you to depreciate only 85% of the total investment cost, since they've already paid for 30% of the system cost with the ITC credit. So in this case study, $255,000, 85% of the system cost, would be available to depreciate or reduce from your business profits over a one to five year period, depending again how much tax liability you have available each year. Let's assume you're an S corporation. Assuming you have a 35% tax rate, by using Form 4562, and Section 179 tax deductions, you would receive a $255,000 deduction or write-off times your 35% tax rate, and this would create an additional $89,250 in tax savings. Here's the 2023 tax brackets from the IRS. For South Carolina, you have a 6% state tax rate so you will potentially save another $255,000 depreciation deduction times the 6% state tax, which results in an additional $15,300 tax savings. And finally, South Carolina also offers a 25% state tax credit in addition up to $35,000. So in this example, your state taxes would then also be reduced by $35,000. It's important to note the state only allows $3,500 per year to be claimed, so you would need to complete this tax rebate over the next 10 taxable years. That was a lot of credits, so let's go ahead and recap this entire scenario. First, your $300,000 system cost is reduced by $90,000 ITC tax credit. 
Next, it is reduced by an estimated 89,250 bonus depreciation towards your federal tax liability. Next, it is reduced by an estimated 15,300 bonus depreciation towards any state tax liability. Finally, it is reduced by $35,000 in state tax credits. This results in a net cost of only $70,450, or about 23% of the gross system cost. I don't know about you, but with a 77% off sale, courtesy of the federal and state tax incentives and subsidies available to speed up green energy adoption, count me in. The government takes enough of your tax money, so when they're offering to give some of it back, who wouldn't want to take advantage? With all of these tax credits, it's important to note you can carry the balances forward of any unused tax credits or depreciation, but this is an important detail to confirm with your tax professional before you start your solar project so you can understand the tax credits and their implication on your individual situation. The last detail is the electricity savings from your new investment. A system of this cost will on average generate around 125,000 kilowatt hours of electricity each year, which is estimated to be around $15,000 to $25,000 per year in electricity savings from the system production. So depending on the cost per kilowatt at your utility, the entire investment could pay for itself in as little as four to six years leaving you with another 25 plus years of electricity production added to the bottom line of your business. Keeping in mind, energy prices historically increase year after year, so your payback period could be even faster. If you're a nonprofit or municipality, such as a school, university, church, or any other qualifying entity, you can now qualify for a direct pay refund under the updated federal ITC laws. What this means, is since you don't have tax liability, the government will just mail you a check for the actual value of the 30% ITC credit. As if all this wasn't compelling enough for you, there is also potentially even more state and local incentives to consider as well, depending on where you live, such as net metering, additional local incentives and property tax exemptions, or even the ability to include the cost portions of a roof replacement for ITC and depreciation based on the percentage area of the new roof replacement that supports your new solar system. If your scenario happens to also qualify for some of these additional incentives, it's quite possible it can result in a system that is almost entirely paid for, and this is why it's so important to understand what's available to your business. We at Solar Energy Partners are solar pros, not tax advisors, so we always recommend you consult with a tax professional to confirm any ITC, depreciation, or any other incentive eligibility based on your circumstances. If you're considering going solar, now is the time to start the conversation. We are a turnkey solar project developer, meaning we work with our clients on all aspects of their projects, from planning to financing, construction, and maintenance. You can reach out to us by email at sales at solarenergypartners.com or go to solarenergypartners.com for more information.